So here at 530, Louisville is home to the nation's 10th oldest historically black college, and now they're about to regain a power they had at the start. Chris Williams is explaining how a plan in Frankfurt would not only impact Simmons College of Kentucky, it would also affect school children and black communities. We often tell you about decisions made here in Frankfurt that people call huge, that impact the lives of people living far from here. This plan is one of those with a unique twist. It not only could return a certain power to Kentucky's oldest HBCU, supporters say it will benefit the health of its neighbors, offer an example for some who need it most, and help all children better appreciate diversity. It's extremely significant. Martel Lilly is wrapping up his four years at Simmons College of Kentucky, where he studied business. Going to an historically black college meant a great deal to this young man from Detroit who said he had one single black school teacher before arriving at high school. The image of having someone in front of the classroom who can represent and speak the same language and understand the background of you know of what you know African Americans go through will be better beneficial for the upcoming youth. Lawmakers are halfway to potentially adding to the ranks with SB 270 passing the Senate last week. It's huge. It's, it's a major deal uh, for Simmons College but more importantly it's a major deal for education in our city and our commonwealth. The bill creates a portal between Simmons and Kentucky State University and clears the way for Simmons certifying teachers, which was a cornerstone when it opened 142 years ago. The data shows that one of the one of the great lackings in public education is the absence of the African American teacher and in particular the absence of the African American male teacher. And uh, this will be our area of specialization. Simmons President Dr. Kevin Cosby insists certifying more black teachers will help all students better appreciate diversity. This is something that's going to benefit not just black kids, but all kids uh, in our public schools. The bill also creates a project with the Cabinet for Health and Family Services to study wellness, health, and food insecurities in African American neighborhoods around Simmons. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.